of the 81st Tactical Fighter Wing, once the largest wing in the US Air Force. The last A-10 Thunderbolt twos, to give them their full name, looked rather lonely on the runway apron as they waited for their last takeoff from Bentwaters. The squat, ugly fighters, nicknamed Warthogs, have been a familiar sight over Suffolk since their introduction in 1979. But the end of the Cold War means the withdrawal of much of the US Defence Force in Europe and the closure of this base by September. When Roger Radcliffe, commander of the fighter wing at Bentwaters, was one of the pilots for this final flight. Uh, we would like to believe that our departure here uh, is an indication of a safer world, but uh, certainly we're leaving a lot of friends and uh, taking apart a wing that's uh, got a great heritage and been a, a great United States Air Force unit. Hundreds turned out to say goodbye. The commander found himself signing autographs, posing for photos and shaking hands with dozens of local people. He thanked them for their support to tens of thousands of personnel of over the decades. Air Force personnel have always eagerly sought assignments to the twin bases of Bentwaters and Woodbridge. Because Suffolk has been a great place for Americans to serve and to raise our families. It was an emotional farewell speech, not only for the Suffolk people who have fond memories of the Yanks during wartime and through the years, but for Roger Radcliffe himself. It's his last flight as an Air Force pilot. He's retiring from active flying operations. It's 14 years since the first A-10s touched down at Bentwaters, and these two will be the last to fly out. And while the local people are unlikely to miss either the noise or even the sight of these great planes over the skies in Suffolk, judging by the turnout here today, upwards of 300 people, it seems they will miss the Bentwaters Air Base when it closes. As the two planes taxied past the waiting crowds, there were salutes and waves from the pilots, while the remaining base personnel found their own way of saying goodbye to the A-10s. The moment the spectators had been waiting for, the farewell fly past. 